Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Game Maker. This is because Game Maker just got some pretty major announcements about what's coming in 2024. Something I found completely shocking, which I may have ruined by the thumbnail. We'll get to that in just a sec. What you see in front of you, this is Game Maker. It is a commercial 2D game engine. It's been used to make several successful indie titles. Uh, it is now owned by Opera Software, who made a uh, mostly functional or mostly fully functional platform limited free version of it available. Something I think they should have done a very long time ago. I've always thought that the UI for Game Maker has been very nice. Uh, they've actually already implemented one of the things that they're suggesting is coming in the 2024 roadmap, and that is this. This is their new integrated code editor. Before, the way code editors used to work is they were more or less pop-outs, like this guy right here. They would drag out of the entity over here, so when you, you edited something, it would open up a new sub-window. Now they've got this dedicated uh, code editor like what you see in front of you. I already covered this in the past. It's got some nice features, jump through the various different things, jump through the various different things that have code attached to them, and your traditional editing experience um, with, again, mini-map support over here, syntax highlighting, etc. All the stuff you expect in a modern editor integrated into uh, Game Maker itself. We already covered this in the past, and this is by no means one of the major announcements here. So let's jump into what the major announcements actually are. So they've done this blog post about what is coming in Game Maker. So this was released yesterday, uh, and we've got uh, kind of a quick rundown of what they did last year. Uh, so they did six monthly releases, two LTS, or long-term support, long-term stable updates, and a bunch of beta releases, 12 asset bundles, four template projects, a whole load of extensions. Uh, we support our, our community by showcasing 14 Game Maker developers at our booth at Gamescon, sponsored several game jams throughout the year, and they saw a 300% increase in the Game Maker's user base. Uh, they made Game Maker exports free for non-commercial use, switched to a one-time payment for commercial licenses. So definitely some uh, changes on that end. Uh, that 300% increase in user base is interesting. I don't know if they're counting that based on downloads, but I did say earlier on that I do agree with the free tier that they've done. I think it's long overdue do, and I think they are reaping the benefits from it. So those are some good numbers from Game Maker. Uh, again, I already mentioned earlier on, there is a full-blown code editor here, so you can do your code, uh, GML code directly inside of the editor, uh, like you would use a traditional um, code editor. It's also got these things for highlighting and jumping between, as we saw earlier on. Again, old news, we already covered that one. So we're going to move beyond that. The next one, we've got prefabs. Now, every single game engine has prefabs of some form at this point in time. Game Maker is now no exception. So unless you make an asset, basically, and reuse them endlessly in other projects. So it's, it's again, you, you prefabricate something, thus the name prefab, and then you can instantiate it in. So example, they give is a platformer player object. You can make this one project and reuse it in multiple platformer games. Updating the code in the original project will update it everywhere it's used. They're delivered through their package manager, allowing um, new prefabs and prefab updates to you without having to install a new version of the IDE. Uh, so they've got this new prefab system in effect. Uh, they also have plugins. Uh, so we're working on plugin support will allow you to create your own tools that work with Game Maker IDE. This is all really fundamental stuff. It's actually, again, some pretty major announcements here with the addition of prefabs and the addition now of plugins. Uh, so uh, plugins will open it up to other communities to create these extensions and so on. Uh, plugin system is already utilized by official tools like the sequence editor and the new code editor. We'll open this up soon, giving you the power to make Game Maker your own. Also working on language plugins for localization to make it easier for someone to submit fixes and improvements for IDE translations. Uh, this will be done through GitHub repositories where you can contribute changes for all supported languages. Then in the GUI side of things, uh, the, the tie in nicely to prefabs, UI system will be based on flex panels. A flex panel can hold items, position them according to dimensions, making it responsive. There will be UI layers in the room editor, which will be uh, based on flex panels for holding UI instances and positioning them respons uh, responsively. Uh, you can make objects for things like buttons, sliders, or any UI element and put them in these layers. Um, these layers will be shared among rooms, so you can set them all up at once and use them throughout your game. You can stick a layer uh, either to the game's display or to a specific viewport. Along with this, we will release official prefabs containing UI elements like buttons, checkboxes, sliders, and much more. This will make use of the UI system described above. So a new GUI UI system incoming in place. And then we've got a new runtime. So GMRT last year has seen a lot of work go into the new runtime, GMRT. Uh, we had a closed beta period, which opened up us up to a lot of feedback from the community, making the runtime strong. Uh, we are moving towards an open beta of the Game Maker runtime, starting with Windows and expanding into other platforms like web, mobile, and finally consoles. And more things are coming. Now, I think the, the actual biggest one here, it's just sort of hidden here, uh, is actually these two right here. And, and these are 
Huge, just gigantic things thrown in at the end. One of the upcoming features includes JavaScript as a first class language in Game Maker. You will be able to write your own scripts and events in JavaScript within Game Maker starting later this year. Yeah, that's big. That is definitely a big development there. GML, uh, Game Maker language, has always been their own custom script language. And uh, using something that more people know is a good thing. It'll be interesting how integrated it will be. Will it be like in parity feature functionality with Game Maker script? Uh, be interesting to find out. But here you see uh, GML is going to have a peer in the form of JavaScript as a first class language. And when they say first class language, I do think that it will then have the exact same scope of functions as GML does. Huge development there. And then look at this one. We're also investigating similar support for other languages like C Sharp. If, I got to tell you something. I, I, I know uh, Game Maker Studio is one of those things that's been around for a very long time. People love it or hate it. If Game Maker Studio had C Sharp support like three or four years ago, it would have taken a huge chunk of Unity's users. Uh, it would be uh, mad. Like if they'd done some of the moves that they did then, now, wow. Oh, whew. Anyways, these are some pretty big announcements of what's coming for Game Maker. So again, quick recap. So from the very beginning, we already have the new IDE. So the, the code editor is already built in, available as a beta feature. You have to turn it on, or at least you used to have to turn it on if you wanted to go ahead and check it out. The other cool thing, I didn't really mention this one. It's also got language server protocol. So code completion, syntax highlighting, error reporting through LSP means the editor supports any language that can be displayed by an LSP, which is cool. Uh, so that means you can bring in things like GML, shaders, JSON, XML, and so on, and have the code completion and suggestions, et cetera, inside of the editor there. Uh, on top of that, we have new prefab functionality coming. Uh, I think this is something that people have been waiting for endlessly. And again, share across entire projects. So it does create these libraries. Also gives you a way to distribute code and a way for uh, Game Maker to distribute um, things to you. Uh, on top of that, we have plugin support coming. So that is going to be a game changer. We have a new UI layer uh, that is available now. We have a new runtime that's going to be available in open beta this year. And again, they've really kind of hid the big ones. The, the actual bombs are here in the more things coming is uh, like, again, JavaScript is a first class language coming later in the year and investigating C Sharp as a language going forward. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is Game Maker right here. Again, I've always thought the tooling looked quite nice and there's no questioning on Game Maker's pedigree uh, because it has been used to make some very, very successful titles. But again, there's some things about it that people don't necessarily like either. Uh, and I think the language is probably up there. Um, and the, if they add JavaScript and then C Sharp support, that could be a game changer for some people. Also, they've streamlined their licensing, which I think is a good move. Um, and they said that they've had a 300% increase in their community. Again, take those numbers with a grain of salt, but you make your tools available to everyone, more people will check out your tools. You add C Sharp support to your game engine, I think a lot more people will check out your tools. But let me know what you think of Game Maker's announcements of the new language functionality coming in, of their new pricing structure, like not new to right now, but new to recently, uh, and just the way Game Maker is going in general. I know right now the Godot game engine has a lot of momentum and they have to react to that accordingly. Uh, but I, I think some of the moves they've made are really good. So let me know what you think of Game Maker's changes coming in 2024. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.